your HTC HD2 with the window with the stock windows or other windows non-stock ROM whichever uh, connect your phone to the um, computer in this case I'm using Windows 7 it is connected download the hard SPL package I have hard SPL 3 and run it with the active sync turned on and it will install the hard SPL to your phone make sure you have a charged battery and don't disconnect anything just follow the instructions on the computer screen all right start the device connect with the USB cable again recognized by your computer and then install a radio compatible with the ROM in this case I'm going to use radio 215514 Let's run that. Yes. Yes, I understand. I want to do the update. I've completed the steps. Active sync, no hibernation. Make sure you have a charged battery. And update the radio. I'm going to go from 213 to 531 to 215 50 14. That's the radio that I've had the best luck with. The device will restart again. I've already installed the hard SPL, so this is step two updating the ROM. Step three phone starts, connect the USB. Have the phone connect to your computer. Run the mag loader. In this case, it's 1.3. Update utility. Click yes. I understand. Click next. Complete the steps. Charged battery. Disable standby. Click next. And update. Click next. Next. Well, we start the hard SPL again and we'll now install in the boot chain the mag loader which is what we're going to use to install any ROM in our case an Android ROM into the NAND memory and not boot and then launch it from the SD card we're not going to launch from the SD card that's too slow it takes too much RAM or uh, not, excuse me not too much RAM that's too slow and takes too much power Okay, final step. Uh, hard to see this, but I'm going to choose the, in this case, the fifth option, USB flasher, and press the call button. And it's um, starting the USB flasher. It says wait. It's going to probably install some drivers on my Windows, uh, excuse me, my Windows machine. And I don't know if it did already. Let me double check. Um, oh, it's already there. So otherwise you might see something on your screen saying installing drivers. Wait for that to finish. Mine's already done. All right, now I'm going to go to the install executable for the MDJ Cyanogen mod. Right click it and choose run as administrator in my Windows machine and follow the on-screen directions. Suppose all Leo types. Click next next and just wait for the update and there's the update happening right there it looks like the HD2 is rebooting I'm gonna remove the USB cable at this time. So 
have two HD2s, we'll run one running Windows 7, and another one is about to load Gingerbread. Cyanogen. Some pretty smooth graphics. While that's loading, let's take a look at some smooth scrolling action in the Windows Phone 7. Nice and responsive. Wow, look at that. It's still settling down, but that's actually some pretty good response time. Looks like it's already set to go. Now this is the first time I'm installing this, so I don't know how it's set up as far as time, region, and everything. So let's just take a quick um, look around. Yep, it looks like I'll have to do some setting up. And then we'll do a comparison. Maybe for the next week I'll use both the Win 7 and the Gingerbread side by side because I have uh, two SIM cards, one for work and one for home.